What is up you guys? Sim Wolf here here today and I'm here with another video for you guys back again on the channel. Today we are here with a new game. We are here with Game Dev Tycoon. Lovely music, lovely music. Um, let's go ahead and get started and jump into the game and I will show you guys kinda how we play. Welcome to Game Dev Tycoon! In this business simulation, you have been transported back to the, into time to start your very own game development company right at the beginning of the PC revolution. In the next 35 years, you can build your dream company, create best-selling games, gain fans, and become the leader of the market and also the world. <laughs> um, so anyways, we're in a good place to pause it for a second here. Um, yeah, so Game Dev Tycoon in a nutshell is pretty much just this. Um, get to make PC games. Um, start out with making PC games, but eventually you start uh, heading into different routes of um, different consoles and stuff. Um, and we're jumping back 35 years. So, um, I don't know. It's it's a really fun game. I have played bits and pieces here and there, demos and stuff that I've seen, uh, and it's very fun. Uh, and I also have seen a lot of other people play it, so I definitely wanted to check it out for you guys. Um, so before we go ahead and get started, make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe. There's going to be more videos of this game to be coming very soon. Uh, and I just want to keep you guys updated and all that good stuff. So yeah, let's go ahead and keep going. Before you can start your adventure, you have to give your company a name. Great, okay. So I'm gonna name myself first. So I will go with my real name, Joshua. And our company name will be Sim Wolf Tech. Because I can't spell technologies. So Knowledges. Technologies. I think I spelled that correct. No, I'm just gonna put tech. Uh Sim Wolf Enterprises. I like that. Sim Wolf, Sim Wolf Enterprises. I, I like that. Okay, we're gonna be a guy. Uh, let's get a good kind of thing going. Uh, none of these really look like me. Uh, we'll go with that. We'll go with that. And no Argyle. No, we're good with the Argyle. Uh, there's not a lot of choices. I'm gonna go with the blue. I like the blue. Very cool. What is this? Advanced options. No, you can always continue playing after the main game is over. The game length speci specifies how fast. Okay, cool. Oh, okay. I I'm just going to leave it at the recommended 35 years. So let's go ahead and continue. If you ever want to review uh, tutorial messages, when you can do so in the help menu. Tax is the help menu. Of okay, cool. Congratulations! You've just started your very own game development company. At the moment, your office is a garage and you are the only employee. But don't worry, many successful businesses have started out this way. I'm sure. Let's start developing your first game. Close this message and click anywhere on screen to bring up the main action menu. Cool. Achievement unlock. Achievement get. Alright, cool. So, let's just go ahead and develop a new game. Before development can begin, you have to decide what kind of game you want to create and your game name. You can also select the graphic technology your game should use. Your options are initially limited, but once you have a bit of experience, you'll be able to unlock new options. That's what I was telling you guys about. We'll be able to play on other different systems and stuff. So it's cool. Cool. Uh, so game concept one. Uh, before we name, let's go into the topic section. Okay. We have crap all for op topics. <laughs> Actually, um, I want to see if we have a specific. Yes. Yes, we will make a uh, airplane sim for um, the G64. Oh, God. That, that's good. That, that G64. God. I remember st I remember when I was a kid that I still played on some of the G64s and the early PCs too. Man. Um, looks like the game, the dev cost for the G64 is higher than the PC. Um, eh, but the G64 does have a bare market share, so that means more money. Um, now, if 
PC stuff history has made me aware of anything is uh, obviously PCs where it's gonna go eventually so I'm gonna stick with the PC because it's cheaper there and I'll still get a good amount of money so let's go ahead and go there oh eh, we're actually gonna go back we'll call this air line Uh, no, air plane sim nineteen ninety four. Yeah, yeah, that's good. All right, um, we're gonna go ahead and bump this up to two D graphics version one. And we'll go ahead and start. Awesome. So it just started. Um, game development runs through three stages. At the beginning of each stage, you can decide what areas of the game you want to focus on. Picking the right focus on your game greatly increases the points you generate. Cool. Think about what areas are important for your game and decrease the focus on areas you think are less important. If you want to read a brief description of the different areas, please refer to the help menu. Cool. Okay, and um, those little bubbles that came up, those were the points uh, being allocated into each one. So, for simulations, gameplay is probably going to be in the middle. Story isn't going to be too much. I want to bump the engine up. And maybe a little bit of story, maybe a little bit more gameplay. Yeah, gameplay can go down. So we want to focus mostly on the engine, because obviously the simulation is going to be very focused on the engine. So let's go ahead and do that. So he's working on the engine there. Game development has now started. While developing your game, you generate game points, which you can uh, see bubbling up. Uh, those are the little bubbles here going. Uh, game points are divided into design points and technology points. The more points you generate, the better the game will be. Um, and as we progress through the game, those points are going to be a lot more. So, yeah. Um, for time to time there will also be bug points as you can see we only have one at the moment we might get more these points become less likely once you gain experience of course uh, bugs should be fixed before the game is released and increase development time and cost so you can release a game with you know bugs in it if you want but honestly it'd be better on down the line just to release them with no bugs so we'll get to that oh come on we are oh, three no oh man there's four bugs in the system oh Okay, so for this simulation, uh, I want dialogues down. Uh, level design, I want it to be more higher up. Maybe a little bit of dialogue. Uh, that's... Maybe a little bit more level design. Although this isn't early... Yeah, I think that's fine. That's fine. Okay. There you go, buddy. Keep working away. Uh, we have uh, four and six in our design and technologies, so very good. He's still working on that AI. Oh, we got a lot of research points, too. During development, you can also select additional features for your game. Right now, you can only pick basic sounds for your options. Will increase quickly. Selecting additional features makes the game generally better, but also increases the cost. you also see the graphic type you selected when you... Uh, define the game this is just to remind you of your choice you cannot change the type of graphics mid game of course okay cool so we're sticking with 2d graphics and basic sound on uh, later on we'll be able to change that we can even take it off if we wanted to cut costs but I'm gonna leave it with a uh, basic sound um, so this is the third stage of development mmm not sure what I want to do here. I, I know that I don't really care too much for sound on this one. Uh, I want to bump the graphics up and world design right about there. That's good. Cool. Keep going, little man. Keep going. Make me money. Make me the money. Make me a game. Make it finish. Okay. Cool. Uh, development of your first game is now complete. You can press the finish button. Uh, to publish a game but you should do that once you fix the majority of bugs so we have six bugs right now okay releasing a game without uh, fixing bugs can severely affect the ratings so you should only ever consider that if you need the cash and can afford it cool we can uh, definitely afford it we also do have a monthly living cost of being in the in the garage of eight 
uh, K. I believe it's only a month. Uh, and we're good. Cool. Finish. Get it out of here. The development of your game has now finished. While developing development skill, uh, developing games, you can experience and improve your skills. When development is complete, you'll be uh, presented with a summary of experience creating. Cool. It's ready. Cool. What is that? I don't know what that is. Awesome. Ooh. Okay. So everything is pretty much at a nice, easy level. Oh, we got a bonus for this. New topic, new combo. Wasn't a great combo, but it was a pretty good combo. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, what is this? Oh, can we, oh, okay, we can actually change the name from there too as well. Cool, very good to know. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and release that game. Good judgment, create a game with a good topic uh, genre combination. Cool. And a little achievement, unlock an achievement, get. Um, your game is now complete and will be handed off to publishing. Uh, you should see reviews and sales coming in uh, the game for soon. I'm going to go ahead and get started on, on a new game as well. Um, let's go into the topic menu and see what we've got. So we just did an airplane game. Uh, alternate history. So similar to kind of like the Fallout stuff, I suppose. Like maybe not the post-apocalyptic, but at least the alternate history stuff. Uh, vocabulary, I would assume that's more for children. Let's do that racing sim, racing simulation. Uh, yeah, racing simulation game, cool. We'll put it on the PC again. We'll call this, uh, we're still in year one. So racing. Sim 1994 again. <laughs> I'm not creative with names yet. Uh, we'll go ahead and do 2D graphics. And uh, he is starting that. The first review is for your newly released game, Airplane Sim 1994 came in. Cool. Let's see. Let's see. Did they love it? Did, uh, give me that 10. Give me that 10. Oh, 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 oh. An 8. Star Games loved it. Okay. Okay. 8. Airline and Simulation is a great combination. Inform Gamer. Thank you, Inform Gamer. Seven, their focus on graphics served the game very well. Game hero, beautiful, seven. Wow, wow, not bad for, for the first game actually, not bad, okay. Cool, so that will make us a pretty good amount. What we're at, 16, 17, 18, 19, 30 overall I believe is what I got. Yeah, 30 overall, uh, so I'm not even I'm not even gonna attempt to do numbers on that uh, after publishing the game you can invest a little bit of time to analyze your creation and generate a game report game reports are a great way to gain research points as well as valuable insights into what works and what doesn't work when developing a game we will definitely do that uh, to generate a game report close this message and then click anywhere on the screen to bring up the action menu cool we oh we need to do this okay um, so pretty much going to be the exact same thing on this. I'm going to leave that there. Oop. Same Wolf Enterprises, a newcomer in the game industry, has just released their first game, Airplane Sim 1994. The game received favorable reviews. With such a good start, Sim Wolf Enterprises are sure to gain fans quickly. Awesome. Okay. Let's go ahead and get uh, generate that game report. So it was a seven and a half. All right, very cool. So it costs us thirty one thousand dollars to make. Um, so we will see how much. Oh, oh, oh! There's the money. Oh, oh! Give me that money. Airplane Sim 1994 sold six thousand five hundred forty five units in the first week on the market. We made it in the charts at number 19 number 19 very good that's cool uh hopefully we can keep that uh in the same ranking we also gained 53 fans so cool now that your game is on sale you will receive the income from the game every week you can see how well your game is doing by looking at the sales graph in the top right of the screen very cool so we're doing pretty good there uh airplane sim 1994 was so successful that we now have 53 fans. Cool. Awesome. We're still doing pretty well. We only went down to 22. Cool. 
Our post-release analysis of Airplane Sim 1994 is complete and we got the following results. Airplane and simulation is a great combination. Engines should be quite important to this type of game. Of course it is. Cool. Oh! Airplane Sim 1994 has uh, achieved a company sales record with over 10,000 units sold. This is an important milestone in the history of Sim Wolf Enterprises. Well, of course it is. Of course it is. Because it's our first game, so obviously. I mean, it's going to be our first game. We already hit 10,000 units sold. Uh, we're doing good. We're doing good. Awesome. Uh, game reports are a great way to gain more research points and insight. It pays off to generate a report for each game you release. Now that you've uh, completed your first game report, it's a good idea to look at the research menu. To open the research menu, close the message and click anywhere. Uh, come on. Oh, is it because he's okay? That's fine. It's probably because he's okay. Um, if it's an AI, I want that bumped up a bit more. Yeah, that's good. Cool. Uh, Airplane Sim is still giving us a good amount. We just uh, passed the 15,000 mark. Cool. Um, sound on this, I want slightly more, but, but that's about it. They're simulation games, so I want them to kind of stay consistent. Um, so far our graphics, uh, our designs went down, so, um, oh, game off the market. Airplane Sim is now off the market. It sold 16,000 units, uh, generating $118,000 in sales. That's crazy. Awesome. So, for the $31,000 that we spent on actually making this game, we made a really good profit. So, very cool. Very, very cool. Awesome. So let's go ahead and get those bug fixes out of there. Uh, it looks as though this game might not do as well as our last, but we'll see. Yep, so we got a new record for technology. Cool. Uh, new topic, new combo. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and release that. And let's go into our research points. Research is important to unlock new options and make better games. You should try to save enough research points to be able to create your own game engines. This will greatly improve your games. Ooh, the game engines, I forgot about that. Um, the game engine is a part that you can use to make either your own games better, or eventually you can even integrate that into a console where you can actually make your own consoles way, way down the line. But still, it's very cool. Uh, try to develop games with different topics and gen, uh, genre combinations for a slight research boost. Um, we have 38 uh, research points. So let's go ahead and look for new topics first because we only have these four. Ooh, okay. Ooh, we can make theme hospital. We can make theme hospital. Oh, we can make theme hospital. Ooh, ooh, that's tempting. Oh, that's tempting. That's tempting. That's tempting. Uh, medieval... Uh, Sci-fi, fantasy, I'm going with hospital. Shut up. Don't blame me. <laughs> um, cool. We're doing good. Uh, the first reviews for our newly released game, Racing Sim 1994, came in. Awesome. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Six. Shows potential. All right. All right. I'll take it. Five. They shouldn't forget about sin. Okay, fine. Simulation games work well on PC. Well, of course they do. Uh, quirky, but good. All right, all right. Not as good as last time. Uh, 12, 19, 24. So we did go down. It's not gonna be as good of a game, but uh, they'll, there will be a niche market for these simulation games. So we'll make a, a good profit back on it, honestly. Okay, we got the research uh, complete. You have successfully researched a new topic, uh, hospital. Very cool. So we are gonna go ahead and generate that game report first for Racing Sim. Uh, we're still at a loss for Racing Sim right now, but that's only because we're in 
uh, the second week of its release, so we'll get more. Okay. Oh, and I want to see stuff from... Oh, I can't. Okay. Okay, whatever. Recent market studies suggest the Gabador G64... <laughs> like the Galvador. Uh, it's steadily outselling competitors in the PC sector. Consumers prefer the lower price, uh, greater availability, and the flexible hardware configuration over other computers. Yeah, but the dev cost for them is too much, so... Experts say that this might spell the end of competing hardware manufacturers. You wish. <laughs> you wish. Awesome. So he's working on that. And he's generating the uh, game reports for Racing Sim. Oh, we got uh, a couple points from that. Oh, very good. Very good. Awesome. Our post-release analysis of gaming uh, Racing Sim 1904 is complete. Uh, racing and simulation is a great combination. Level design seems to be quite important. Okay, yep. Okay, let's go ahead and develop a new game. We'll go ahead and pick a genre. We'll pick... Now, see, this is where Tycoon would be a good thing. Um... Let's go with strategy. Let's do strategy. Uh, we'll go ahead and do that on the PC again. And we'll do... Hmm... That's a tough one. Um, let's do hospital. Let's do the hospital. No, I want to save hospital for later. Let's do alternate history. Alternate history. So let's go. Stone Cold President. President. <laughs> Stone Cold President. <laughs> Stone Cold President. Jeez. Awesome. Let's yes. Let's do that. <laughs> Start the development. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, alternate history strategy game. Okay. Um, engine does not need to be big in this one. Story and quests uh, a little bit more. Actually, it, probably medium. Gameplay needs to go up. All right, cool. So, in this alternate world, where George H.W. Bush became a WWE superstar and Stone Cold became president of the United States, could you imagine? Dear Lord. The only reason why I picked Stone Cold is because I have a, one of the PS4 box things on my desk and <laughs> that's the first thing I saw <laughs> okay uh, dialogues need to go up a little bit for this uh, not too much because it is a strategy uh, AI I need to bump that up and level design can yeah, there there you go there we go okay we're still getting some money from racing sim it's been on the market for a good amount and it just went off okay it sold 14,000 uh, units so we did about two, maybe two or three thousand less units than uh, the last game did, but we did pretty good. Awesome. Development stage. Okay. Um. I th think we want to bump that down a bit more do some sound okay that's good according to rumors the japanese company nivento is planning to launch its very own home gaming console nivento is known for the widely successful arcade game dinky king many industry experts doubt that the home gaming console will take off but we are eager to see what nivento will deliver if only you knew if only you knew Okay, get those bugs out of there. Get those bugs out of there. We all don't. Okay. Ooh, new record on design. All right, cool. New topic, new combo. Engine went up. Level design went up. Ooh, I'm almost all the way up again. Cool. All right. 
Uh, let us do some research. Uh, there's the post-apocalyptic. Okay, cool. Uh, let's do a fantasy. Let's get that fantasy up in there. Alright. Has its moments. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Uh, I'll take that. Fine. Strider games work well on the PC. Of course they do. Falls a bit short. Mm -hmm. Fun at stages. Okay, cool. Okay, so which one of you is IGN? <laughs> we gotta please IGN, guys. Alright. Uh, let's close that. That didn't do too well. We got a, got a decent review, but we'll see how much it sells. We got a good amount of money right now, so we're doing fine. Hey there, I've just finished Stone Cold President and I am impressed by your talents. I am in the contracting business and we could use skills like yours. If you are ever short on cash, just let me know and I will see uh, if I have some work for you. Jason, well thank you Jason, I'm glad that you enjoyed the concept of uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin becoming the next president of the United States. Thank you very much. <laughs> Congrats, you have, been, you have now unlocked... Um, Congrats, you have now been unlocked. Okay, yes, I have been unlocked. To see all contracts, close this message and then click anywhere on the screen to bring up the many. Cool. You have sex for life. La 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 Research said new topic fantasy. Cool. Uh, let us go ahead and do uh, game report and we'll do a Stone Cold President. Um, let's see how that goes. We're still do making a good amount. We're about to uh, finish the 10,000 mark. Today, Nevento has confirmed recent rumors and announced their plans to release a new home gaming console called TES early next year. Tiny Entertainment System. system. <laughs> the console features cartridge based games and a unique design controller. Of course, it did. It was one of the best controllers of its time. <laughs> uh, alternate history and strategy is a good combination. Uh, world design seems to be very important for this type of game. Uh, platform, genre, match, PC, and strategy is great. Okay, so strategy games on the PC are always going to... They're usually almost always going to do good. So let's go ahead. We have more money. We have a good amount. Let's go ahead and start a new game. Okay, so let's go ahead and... I think this will be the last game we will make. Let's go ahead and pick our genre. We'll do another strategy game again. Uh, let's do a fantasy strategy game. We'll go ahead and do this. Okay, so strategy is very, very good. Uh, adventure RPG. You know what? Let me go ahead and actually change this to... Oh, no, that was right. Let's go ahead... Fantasy Adventure. We're about to make Final Fantasy, people. Uh, uh, blah, blah, blah. First Fantasy. <laughs> first. First comments. <laughs> okay. Uh, yep. Let's do that thing. Stone Cold President. All right, uh, fantasy. So we do want more engine on this. Gameplay can stay right about there. Engine can go a bit up. Stories and quests, I want there to be more of that. So let's do that. We're slowly getting there, slowly. Okay, development stage two for first fantasy. Uh, AI isn't as good needed i want dialogues to be higher and level design to be there ai might be going down a bit but that's good cool do thank you from patrick and daniel club greenheart games oh, okay so these are the guys that actually made this game hi joshua we are creators of game dev tycoon and would like to thank you very much for purchasing the game and supporting us of course Game Dime Tycoon is our very first game, and it means a lot to us that you are enjoying it. Well, thank you. With your purchase, you support our little startup, and uh, will help really uh, make sure that we bring you more games in the future. I hope you do. 
Seriously, you rock. No, no. Patrick and Daniel, you rock. Thank you very much and have fun with Game Dev Tycoon. Awesome. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. Such nice guys. And they're a little startup too. Just like he. Just like him. In Simple Enterprises. Um, world design I want up. Graphics can go down a bit. And there. Yeah, that's, that's good. I want them to focus more on the world design. Game off the market. Stone Cold President is now off the market. Sold 12,000 units. Uh, draining $88,000 in sales. Not bad. Not bad. Not good. Not bad. Alright, cool. Let's get those bugs out of there. Come on. Come on. And uh, can we hold out? No. Nah. Okay. Ooh, okay, cool. Design got a new record again. Ooh, oh, oh my god! Okay, cool. Everything went up level two. Awesome. Let's release that game. The first review is for your newly released game. Uh, first Fantasy came in. Oh, come on. Give me something good. Could have been better. Well, what's the first Fantasy one? Fantasy Adventures, a gray combination. Awesome. Cool. I'm Form Gamer. Fun at stages. Okay. <laughs> I've seen better. Okay, not not bad. Sixes and fives. That isn't horrible. So we got a total of 22 points. It's good. It, it, I believe that did worse than Stone Cold President, but we will we will go ahead and see. Yes. I don't know. Um, let's go ahead and see what is coming up there. Awesome. Doing very good actually. Okay, cool. awesome all right anyways guys i'm gonna go ahead and leave it off here i do want to thank you guys so much for watching this video if you liked it leave a like leave a comment let me know what you guys think about it also in the comment section uh if you guys would uh let me know what other games you guys want me to make uh so far we have a good amount of topics and genres and stuff so our topics are currently these we might be able to unlock more later on and our genres are currently these. Um, so if you guys think of anything, topic and genre, both related, um, and a good title, I might be able to use that in the following video. Um, so let me know. And if you guys want to see more of uh, Game Dev Tycoon, please let me know by dropping a like and a comment. And of course, if you guys want to see more of this, make sure that you subscribe to the channel so you are uh, kept up to date with more of Game Dev Tycoon. <laughs> Sounds good. All right, guys. Anyways, uh, thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.